does is you it's like if you take all of the really great text out of it, it's just a really great cop movie. You know, like uh, yeah. yeah, like a buddy cop yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. It's yellow, like uh, this on its own, it, it like works as a really great genre cop movie, and it's a very it's very much a send up of, of a black exploitation tropes, as you said, mm -hmm. and it's um, yeah, it works great. It's super tense. Um, uh, there's action in it and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it really boils down to perfect casting yeah yeah you know because it hadn't been anybody else it probably wouldn't have flowed as right. well yeah but they just yeah they nailed the yeah. the right people yeah yeah they nailed the right people behind and um, yeah. in front of the camera and yeah. they needed to be serious during parts they needed to be serious they were convinced you know they convinced me it it, it just it flowed well from being a serious racial movie to comedic racial movie to buddy cop movie. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. It yeah. all flowed well, pretty well. The dynamic yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel overly long, even though it is a pretty no. long yeah, movie. It's pretty long. 15, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't feel that. It flies by. And, like, you don't notice the time because you're having such a great yeah. time. With yeah, the it, pacing know? is great. Yeah. yeah, the pacing is great. I, I felt like maybe he wanted to elaborate more. I don't know if there's a director's cut or if deleted scenes. Yeah, I feel like I, it could have been a little longer or something. Are, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I felt like, yeah, exactly. Like, there could have been, like, um, like maybe he cut a lot of stuff that he yeah. wanted to. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so some of the events feel pretty immediate after we each Rushed other. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I get it because it's for the movie, but. Um, yeah. Um, there's only so much that you can fit um, the time slot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, so, uh, some of the timeline stuff gets a little jumbled as like how. Yeah. yeah, how like one event got to the other event. But, um, but like, uh, that's like a minor. Um, complaint that I have. I I felt like the uh, the chief the police the chief of police was kind of uh, kind of like fucking with them, you know? Yeah. Like, kind of yeah. like, okay, if you really want to do this, then we're going to put you as his head yeah. of security. For yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he, he was kind of like, well, you said you can speak proper or you yeah. can speak jive. jive. Yeah. Go speak jive. Yes. So I felt like he was testing him. Like, yeah, test you really want to fucking do this? Yeah. You want to dance with the fucking lions? Then yeah. Go the devil? Yeah. 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 And, like, uh, that just shows how, like, people would uh, set black people up back then, you know, yeah. and, like, and put them in dangerous situations. Like, that's okay. testing them. Yeah, that's yeah, why, uh, that's, testing them, that's why Flip was, like, he stood up. He's like, come on, you know what the fuck, fuck you're, you're doing. doing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. But him being really uh, having a sense of pride and saying, you know what, you're, you're fucking right. And I like the fact that when he did go to him, he spoke to mm -hmm. him in proper, proper English. English. Yeah. So he, he did I meet, have I met you before? Yeah. You sound familiar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, yeah, uh, they didn't go there to embarrass himself and it talks like something uh, that he wasn't, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, Flip, uh, Flip's character gets put in um, kind of danger too when Felix tests him. Yeah. They uh, when they first meet. Yeah. And they meet up with their pickup trucks. Yes. And he's like, you know, I'm gonna take you to where we're really gonna go. Yeah. And then uh, he, you know, they they see um, um, Star Wars. Yeah, Star, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> Sorry. Rob he, when he's yeah, he's tailing them. Yeah. Uh, flips and, yeah. and Felix. He sees yeah. him in the river mirror. Yeah. yeah. And, and, he's, and, and he, he hands him the shotgun. It's like, hey man, uh, get ready. Double yeah. barrel. Yeah. Yeah. To see if yeah. if uh, flips yeah. gonna load it. Yeah. If he's yeah. you know ready for the coffee yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah really down yeah. and he's like you know he acts uh, like he's ready he you know he cocks and he's like uh, and Felix look, just looks at him and he's like not not so fast kid yeah. right. you know he hold on yeah. and then they just pull off the shoulder right. he was testing to see if he had actual balls yeah. to do this shit. exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, Driver's character has an, has an interesting arc too as a Jewish uh, guy who had been sort of like not really um, uh not acknowledge his Jewish heritage yeah. and now is is suddenly as he says in the movie he he's suddenly having to, to face it yeah right face it and, and come to terms with him as, as a Jewish person and like having to deny his heritage to survive in the job stuff like that it um it, it really adds layers to the movie and and the characters in it I think I thought it was crazy that he uh he kind of sniffed them out as soon as he 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 called it. Like he was like, "You're you're not a yeah, white, yeah. you're not white. You're Jewish." Yeah, uh, Felix, and he kind of pointed it out. But um, he started to catch on to him once he uh, pulled out the gun and started to shoot. Yeah, at uh, Stallworth because you know 
there's a part in the movie he throws the fucking flower pot through the yeah when he was trying to do the lie detector test distraction distraction he, yeah. yeah he's listening from um, outside in the car, car yeah. uh, and realizes that his buddy's gonna maybe yeah. get killed yeah, yeah get he, made. Yeah. so he Can't goes down he goes down to uh, to kind of uh, make a distraction. Mm-hmm. So he throws like the flower pot through one of the kitchen windows yeah. and takes off. Yeah. And yeah. then the, the wife's like, "Oh, you know, there's yeah. this this black guy just you, did this just throwing stuff in our house." Ran off. Yeah. 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 And like that's a lot. tense moment because they're all coming after him, and they're all there. Yeah. And they gave yeah. him the chance to prove himself again by shooting back at him. So he yeah. so yeah. he steals the gun from him and shoots, shoots him, him, but you can see how he purposely he misses. misses. Yeah. Yeah, he's shooting off, and then later on, we yeah. uh, we when we go to the target practice scene, um, all of a sudden he's a he's a Perfect crack game. shot, yeah, which he, also gave it away, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because like, you can see you Fe- Felix. They they zoom in on Felix uh, after that that yeah. scene happens. Yeah. you see his face, and he's like, "Oh, that's weird." Yeah, he uh, he missed. He's back dead there. on yeah. this time, huh? And that adds great tension because, as an audience member, you know that uh, that a Zimmerman is an undercover cop, and the fact that somebody else pretty much knows that yeah. that Zimmerman is an undercover cop, it sort of adds that tension of like, "Okay, when's the shoe going to drop?" And everybody else is going to wise up. You know, like you know. Um, it uh, creates a great narrative uh, device. But I feel like maybe Felix um, was hesitant and held off because he thought that was so um, outlandish. Yeah, so that obvious that, yeah. that it couldn't possibly be true. Yeah, yeah like yeah. he was like, are they really doing this? Yeah. Like, this is so fucking stupid. Yeah. Who would yeah. do this? Yeah. Or, you know. Yeah. I'm interested to see if, um, I, don't, I don't know, I didn't ask you, but is there is there like a behind the scenes or like documentary? There is, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'd, I'd like to see that. Yeah. I'm always uh, interested. Think, yeah. yeah, there's a commentary with Spike Lee and there's a making of cool. he and the the real guy did a bunch of um, press. That's cool. Where they talked about the movie and stuff. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Did you guys want to cut to that uh, yes. interview real yeah. quick? Introduce yeah. it, sir. Uh, so um, this was an interview. Um, the Directors Guild of America, they host um, uh, these conventions um, <laughs> uh, per year of uh, some of the hottest uh, d- directors. Um, the gimmick is that they get directors to interview other directors. Like um, when The Hateful Eight came out, uh, Christopher Nolan interviewed uh, Quentin Tarantino on it. Nice. Um, and then um, uh, this year, uh, Spike Jones interviewed, uh, or Darren Aronofsky interviewed Damien Chazelle on uh, First Man. And then this one, John Singleton, the director of uh, Boys in the Hood, yeah. um, uh, which was a famous ni- uh, n- uh, movie from the 90s, um, uh, uh, based on a shirt that uh, Wesley is probably wearing right now. Um, For one thing. Um, um, uh, he interviewed uh, Spike Lee on it, and they talked about it. And the first thing that John Singleton uh, brings up, actually, is the documentary footage and the inclusion of uh, Heather. So um, it's, it's a great interview. Is that the interview that's going to yes. Oh, yeah. shit. Awesome. Yes. All right. Here it is. No one's laughing when that car, which is a, a murder weapon, is going down that street. No one's laughing. No one's laughing when those, when those photos come up of Heather Hire. No one's laughing when the, the, the red, white, and blue American flag upside down goes to black and white. And uh, I have a lot of friends all over the country who've gone to the to see the film this open weekend. Everybody unanimously says that at the end of the film, you can hear a pin drop. So, this, yeah, you could laugh, but at the end of the movie, when you walk out of here, you're not thinking about the humorous things in the film. You're thinking about, I, you know, what you just saw, which, and then those statements by David Duke and Agent Orange, you know, they can't say that's fake. I not take that, I not take that footage to my friend George Lucas of Dust Light and Magic and, and no, nah, no, nah, that's real. And for me, it was a pivotal moment I'm not a historian, but I think many historians will in the future look back on that moment and say it's a pivotal moment in American history where 
the President of the United States, has opportunity to denounce hate, hate groups, and he didn't do it. And he might have walked it back what he said three or four days later, but with this guy in office, whatever he says first, that's what's, that's what's, that's what's, that's what's in his heart. <laughs> Don't go for the okie doke by the retraction two days later. Nah, I'm is what you said the first time. And to this day, he has not denounced those hate groups because he feels that that's part of his base. And, it's, and I don't think it's a coincidence that these hate groups have come out on the rocks and from, from the dark into light because they know they got a friend in the White House who has their back. Um. <laughs> We go way back. I'm just giving him assist. I gave him an assist. He take the ball. He that, like that Kobe. Was magic to Jabbar like right there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. He like Kobe. It don't matter. It's serious. It's for you to talk. We go um, way, way, way back. So, so. what are you, what are you gonna do when uh when uh when Agent Orange sees this movie? Who? Agent Orange and sees this movie and starts tweeting about it. <laughs> he, I mean, I because you know he will see the movie. I mean, in Ken, my press conference, I call him. Mother 15 times, so. But I think he likes that. I think he, I think he likes to be flagellated. I think he likes to be abused. I think that, you know. Well, here's the thing. I mean, if. <laughs> He's that kind of dude. I'd be surprised if, if oh, David Duke. Oh, David called, Duke. David Duke saw it this weekend. Believe me. Yeah, no, he want, he, he, was, he, 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 called, he, he called, he called up, he called up Ron, right? He called up Ron That was the board movie came out. And he said he was encouraging, you know, his his people to see the film. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. So, but, so he caught him before the movie came out. The, right. But he hasn't. No one's known that David Duke has seen the movie. Not yet. But he's going to see it. I mean, yeah, he he, he had read he's Ron's book. Yeah. He said he saw Malcolm X. He told him Ron that. Yeah. He said he liked it too. <laughs> <laughs> and he said the him and Malcolm. <laughs> Wanted the same thing. I said, you know what? You only want, you only must watch the first hour. <laughs> it's three hours. See the market evolved. But we live in a crazy world today. It's, it's insane. It is truly insane. All right, and we're back. That was the interview. Hey. Cool. <laughs> Dope interview. Shout out for uh, CJ. Yeah. Um, link, you, CJ. Linking me to that. It's your boy. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Got us covered. Uh, do you guys want to do some swan facts real quick? Drop them. Swan facts. I fucking love that. The, swan <laughs> that. the, uh, the real Ron Stallworth actually uh, originally wanted Denzel to play him. Wow. But when he was actually more excited when uh, he found out his uh, his son was going to portray him. If I can't get Denzel, I'm going to get a Denzel. <laughs> I'm going to get one, one of them. Another. I'm going to get a disciple. <laughs> imagine, imagine. He's got to be his nephew. I'm going to get... I'm going to get a damn Denzel to play me. Imagine when he had that thought, he was telling his wife, he's like, you know what, they're going to make a movie about me, and I would get Denzel to play me, because I know you really like him. <laughs> it's going to be Denzel, baby. Yeah. It's going to be Denzel on screen. Oh, and he's going to play son? me. Oh, okay. That's, that's... <laughs> I guess apparently uh, this movie actually has zero deleted scenes. Wow. Oh. Damn. Which is a very, very uh, a rarity in the uh, industry. Yeah. Huh. Damn. I would like to see a no cut film. You know. <laughs> Was there any uh, outtakes or I'm sure ad libs the, yeah, and stuff? I'm sure the assembly cup was longer. I'm sure. Maybe That's pretty interesting. Know, 
uh, what else do we got? This was the this is the first Spike Lee film uh, since uh, his old boy remake to be actually shot on film. Oh wow! Really? Wow. Save it for the good one. I I didn't get to see the old boy remake, but I fucking love the original. The originals. I just bought the original on Blu-ray. Found oh, it brand new. Yeah.